Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the EU review where we look at the Star Wars Legends universe and pick the best and the worst it has to offer. My name is Simon and I am your host. On this episode we're going to be looking at one of the most beloved characters to come from the Legends universe. To defeat an enemy you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics, but their history, philosophy, art. Grand Admiral Thrawn. The blue-skinned, red-eyed Chiss himself, Grand Admiral Thrawn. He was recently rescued from the chasm of non-canon when he was resurrected in Star Wars Rebels Season 3. Now, he was first introduced in the Legends universe in Timothy Zahn's 1991 novel, Heir to the Empire, which was part of a trilogy of books dedicated to Thrawn, and it also introduced many pivotal characters to come from the Legends universe. Thrawn is notable for being one of the only aliens to attain a high rank within the Empire. He was widely regarded as being a brilliant tactician and an extremely capable commander. Thrawn began life in the Chiss Expansionary Defence Force, where he was eventually outcast as he was considered too aggressive. This was part encouraged by Darth Sidious, who had been impressed with Thrawn and wanted his help in achieving galactic dominance. He was recruited into the Empire and quickly rose through the ranks. He was a keen explorer of the Unknown Regions, and this is where he established his fortress known as the Hand of Thrawn. From his fortress, he forged a secret alliance of unknown region species known as the Empire of the Hand, and he spent almost all of the Galactic Civil War building his influence there. Now, four years after the death of Palpatine, Thrawn seized control of the Empire, and he took the Star Destroyer Chimera as his flagship, and Captain Galad Pelion as his second in command. He united most of the fragmented Empire and was declared the supreme commander of their forces, However, Thrawn did face a number of different challenges and rebellious moths who limited his resources by remaining isolated and refusing to release ships to him. Now, this is where the brilliance of Thrawn really starts to shine. Uh, Thrawn was an extremely capable leader. He trained soldiers and officers to the highest standards possible. He ordered new, more advanced ships to be built, and he even used clones to bolster his armies. Thrawn used unusual tactics, including once disguising himself as a stormtrooper to observe his men in action, but he distinguished himself from other Imperials by having a rather forgiving nature and encouraging his officers to be creative, which was one of his greatest strengths, especially when you compare it to the other Imperials who took a more aggressive approach to the failures of their officers. However, Thrawn's end came as he was betrayed by his own bodyguard, Rook, after he discovered that the Grand Admiral had been manipulating his own people into the servitude of the Empire. So what is it that made Thrawn such a beloved character? For me, it was his uniqueness. He wasn't attracted to power. He came across as someone who only wants to achieve the security of the Empire and the galaxy as a whole. He had a distinct lack of ego. Now, he had a huge interest in art and culture, and the application of these interests in his military tactics made him one of the most diverse characters ever, and it was some brilliant reading at the time. Now, I think one of the reasons that he is very beloved is because we all enjoy a good villain, especially a clever villain. Thrawn was one of the most intelligent and well-written characters to come from Legends, and I'm really glad to see him back in canon and being held so true to the original idea of the character. We've already seen him utilise art and culture in his plans, and his tactical genius is only just starting to be shown. In the end, this is one of the best things that ever came from the Legends universe. A genius at tactics, a very unique character, he was very relatable, he came from nothing, he came from outside of the known galaxy, faced many different challenges, and eventually succeeded all the way up to commanding the Empire, before ultimately it was his own intelligence that really brought him down. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the EU Review, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts of Thrawn in both Legends and the Canon Universe in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and join me next time as we go and review more of the Legends EU.